Okay, let's move on to lesson number five. In this lesson, we'll cover aviation weather and weather resources. Teaching weather provides you with an excellent opportunity to instill in your students the effect weather has on the safety of flight. Now, while the concepts are numerous, your students need to appreciate that the study of aviation weather is a lifelong process and will benefit a lot from experience. Hi, I'm Dave Seleski. Again, this is lesson number five, weather. As a flight instructor, you know that understanding aviation weather is one of the most important elements for a safe pilot to understand. You need to understand all aspects of weather and weather resources, and then be able to explain these to your student. This lesson may impact the safety of flight more than any other topic. So, you need to instill in your students a working understanding so they'll be able to make sound pre-flight planning and in-route weather decisions. With that in mind, let's begin. Here are our lessons for this segment. First up, the atmosphere. What is the atmosphere? What are the certain percentage of gases, oxygen, nitrogen, and the rest of the gases? Winds, both at the surface and aloft. Stability of the atmosphere. What does this mean? What is a stable atmosphere? Humidity. Clouds, cloud identifications. Air masses, fronts, cold front, warm front occluded, thunderstorms, icing, and last but never least, microbursts and how they affect you and how to look out for them. Weather services available to you, METARs, TIFs, terminal forecasts, stability of the atmosphere or lack thereof, aviation forecasts, pilot reports or PIREPs, wind and temperature aloft, in-flight weather, transcribed weather briefings, EFAS, convective outlook forecasts, surface analysis charts, weather depiction charts, radar summary charts, constant pressure charts, significant weather, and composite moisture and stability information. Now the atmosphere fluctuates continuously as it tries to reach equilibrium in pressure, temperature, and in humidity. Now the standard atmosphere is an average condition of all of these fluctuations. Now the standard rate of change in a standard atmosphere is about one inch per 1,000 foot gain in altitude in the troposphere. Here's a weather fact for you. The standard sea level pressure is 29.92 inches of mercury or about 1013 millibars of mercury. The standard sea level temperature is 59 degrees Fahrenheit or 15 degrees Celsius. The standard rate of change in pressure is about one inch of mercury per thousand foot gain in altitude in the troposphere. Pressure decreases as you increase in altitude. Or simply stated, the further you go up, the more the barometer drops. Now meteorologists, folks, look at the atmosphere like you would a layer cake. There are several different layers to the atmosphere. And they are, from the bottom up, the troposphere, the tropopause, that's the top part of the troposphere, the stratosphere, the mesosphere, and the very top layer, there is the thermosphere. Okay, the atmosphere again, here we go. Virtually all aviation weather, folks, takes place in the bottom two layers of the atmosphere. They are the troposphere and the stratosphere. The troposphere ranges anywhere from 20,000 feet at its very top near the North and South Poles to about a 65,000 foot elevation near the equator. The stratosphere is typified by a relatively small change in temperature with height except for some warming right near its very top. All right, here's the big question. So what causes weather? Well, it's a simple answer. All weather is caused by a change in temperature. It's just that easy. 